Literally, it's bigger than the actual bedroom. <laughs> oh, lots of towels, good. I'm gonna shower later. Look at that side door. There's only one thing that I don't like is that there's two single beds when I ask for a double. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> okay, it's very nice. The view is off a street as well, which I'm kind of like. It's not so busy. So I can't wait to go out. It's still a bit rainy. Um, the weather's gonna get better on Friday and Saturday, but it's just, it's Thursday afternoon. I'm really excited about getting some pinchos. Um, <laughs> it's the food. And I've been learning some Basque on the, on the bus now. Um, hello is Kaisho. And thank you is Esquiritasco. Uh, yes is bye. Uh, no is as. <laughs> um, I did know a couple more, uh, but I've screenshotted some and I've been following someone on YouTube. So, because Basque is the oldest language in uh, of the whole of Europe, even scholar, um, linguistic scholars don't know where it comes from. They say it's that old. Uh, it doesn't have any Indo-European roots, <laughs> but it's definitely, the Basque language has definitely influenced French and Spanish because it's literally on the border. Pin... Pilin Pausha, Pin Pilin Pausha. That was voted one of the most beautiful words a few years ago. And it's a Basque word for butterfly. Pin Pilin Pausha. <laughs> um, and it's gorgeous, it's lush and green, and it's like a city plopped in the middle. It's like, <laughs> kind of reminds me a bit like Wales. Wales has got its own culture and its own like, language. And yeah, it's, it's, but it's like lush and green, really different. But I can't wait to go out and explore the city. I'm knackered though. And my belt's been like playing up. So my pants have been falling down. I've been like hiking them up. Like some uncouth Brit. <laughs> uh, look at this. I've just found horny man's. Do you want some horny man's tea? Come all the way to Spain. And guess what? Found a prime army. <laughs> And a five guys. And that's the Burger King. <laughs> this is definitely the capitalist centre. <laughs> I'm at the Guggenheim now. As you can see, I'm on the on the back of it. <laughs> but it does have a restaurant. I think I might just sit in and have a drink and just chill. See if you're a tourist, the best thing to do when it's raining is come look at some Picasso sculptures at the Guggenheim. <laughs> Or just find somewhere that's warm and dry. I think I've just tasted the nicest thing in the world. Oh my god, it's like a, it's like a tuna. Like tuna with spices. And this is like a pastry bake. It's like sweet fish. It's like, oh my god, it's delicious. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the Guggenheim and it only costs 15 euro and obviously for an adult, for OAPs and children and students it's cheaper. But I've just come for the views, look at the views. <laughs> You've got the estuary plus the mountains like right there. And there's a restaurant downstairs where you can sit on the harbour on the, the front. It's incredible but look, if you see so, don't walk. <laughs> but it's amazing. Let your hand wander on flesh to make possibility multiply. Does that just mean shagging about? <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's messing up my eyes. <laughs> For some reason it reminds me of Star Wars, I don't know why. Mm. 
Okay, one of the amazing things about this uh, uh, museum is it's just the scale of it. They've housed so much art in here and yeah it's incredible these are like permanent structures where you can like explore around and it's called is it something like a bit and something like the mystery of space and time or something like that but one of the great things is the scale of it is that they can put up and exhibit these incredible pieces this is all um made out of like recycled like bits and pieces um yeah it's, it's insane and <clears throat> yeah i just I, i'm not big i'm not a massive massive art person like i can't draw for anything but i'm just i do love the stories behind it oh my god so this primary colors and you sit there and it just messes with your mind <laughs> it really does it's like a gigantic wall and like you, you, you sneeze and it's like an echo <laughs> uh there was they've also housed um andy warhol pop up art this is the 150 marilyn uh, pieces these are some those aren't Andy Warhol um, but yeah they've got like a big pop art section and I did pop art at GCSE which is okay so there was one piece that I really wanted to see and that's this Jean-Michel Basquiat and he was a, an American painter in the 80s he died at 27 from a drug overdose and yeah he sold his first painting I believe to Debbie Harry for a couple hundred dollars but then there was a painting that went up in I think it was like 2017 and it sold for like 110 million dollars uh, it's like the second most valuable painting from like an American artist so yeah it's incredible uh, uh, his story yeah, and next, um, I went up to the next floor and there was uh, quite a few um, Picasso sculptures and I think they've got like a couple, like, I think it's like a dozen of them. But basically, these were done in like the 40s under, um, uh, while he was in Paris and he, ref he refused to leave Paris and he made all these with smuggled in materials uh, because the Gestapo was, was on his back constantly. So I just, I find it incredible. Like, if you're an artist, you make it work. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, I, I had a really good time. It's, it's amazing, never seen anything like it. Look how big the elevator is. It's huge. It's bigger than my first flat. <laughs> Okay, so it was around four-ish and it started getting dark and you think everywhere was closed up, but no, things were reopening and uh, until eight o'clock at night because that's what they do. Um, so I went to one of the charity shops and it was like a, a boutique shop. It was insane. However, there was a really good sale on, which I'll show you uh, what I got in a minute. But yeah, they had some pretty good stuff. They had Hackett. I didn't see that. I, um, I didn't pick that up though. Um, I also saw, I think it was a Gant and a Musto, but I think they were pretty well priced. But yeah, there was like, it was really busy as well. I was really surprised. There was quite a lot of people there. But uh, yeah, how they hang their trousers up is really good. I don't know the. I don't know if you've got these types of hangers, but they're like on their side, so you can easily get at, like the tags. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had a really good time here. <laughs> Yeah, naturally, I had a look at some of the toys and some of the uh, the Spanish uh, board games. Uh, nothing there, really. And I did check there to see if there was any, like, vintage kind of, like, European toys. But there were some, like, really weird ones. Um, the only, like, decent one that I found was, like, it was, like, of a gerbil. And it looked like... Oh, no, not a gerbil, like a guinea pig. It looked like that G-Force, that Disney G-Force, but it wasn't it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, there's such some, like, weird kind of like local <laughs> toys instead which you never know but they're only like a euro each but i didn't want to risk it for a biscuit unfortunately oh uh, yeah still on my currently platforms 65 euro um well, maybe not um because they could be fake it is spain you never know <laughs> Coolest restaurant ever. Like it's right next to my hotel. It's an anime inspired restaurant. I love it. Okay, so it is the third day already. Wait, I flew in on Wednesday, so 
that's Wednesday. Yesterday was Thursday, so technically it's the third day. I've only got today and tomorrow. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so today I'm going to Ribera, which is the giant food market, which I've been, I, I'm just like mind blown about how big it is. Um, so I'm gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna try some pinchos, which is the Basque version of like tapas, except it's like, it's really fancy, but like they're everywhere. But they've said to go to the Ribera market and um, try it there. So I'm really excited. Uh, I love food. What can I say? If you if you've been in the live stream, you know it's all about thrifting and food for some reason. Um, thrifting through food, food and travel. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of um, there's actually two charity shops that I've seen. I've been to one of them last night. Capera, that's like the national one that I've seen down there, and it's like, it basically looks it's like a really fancy, like, I don't know what they do in Europe, but they do make them really fancy. Um, yeah, so I've got, I've got a couple of things to do, and I'm going to walk down the, uh, the estuary, it's, it's, there's some gorgeous places, so yes, I can't wait. Oh, I had a really nice sleep though, even though it was like a twin bed, I did wake up at like, it was like six in the morning and I was like halfway in the middle. I was like that like down in the middle. I was like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the old town, the old town of um, Bilbao, and it's where my hotel is. My hotel's on the edge, and this is like, this reminds me of pretty much every old town in Europe. <laughs> Ooh, it's huge. So here's the thing, I am not religious in any sense of the word, I'm not really very spiritual either, and yeah, I'm just, it's just not really my thing in terms of like a practicing kind of faith um but i love and i appreciate the architecture and the history behind it and yeah i'm just i'm always in awe when i go to these really massive cathedrals i went to one in cologne which was insane i went to notre dame before it burned down that was in absolutely it takes your breath away um, and I love going to them and I respect everything about them and what's really great about this I went in and I kind of because um, you have to pay I paid like I think it was like six euro and they give you this thing and I, I said like Eskini Sasko and, and they were like oh they were like little ladies like oh because <laughs> I spoke a little bit of bass to them they were like oh they were dead cute um, but yeah and I actually, actually I bumped into the um I don't know who's the head of the. Is it the pre, the main priest dude? He came out of that door actually, uh, while I was going in, and then I saw pictures of of like all the old, like bishops or priests or whatever they called, and um, yeah, I was like, oh my god, that was him. <laughs> yeah, he was quite a young guy actually, and I put oh so it's twenty. This one is twenty cents, and it's like an electrical light, and it's lit up for twenty four hours basically, and. Yeah, I thought, I accidentally put a pound in thinking that there might be like some change, but no, it lit up about five all in a row, which is kind of handy because I've lost a few people in the past couple of years. So, so I always do that when I go in. Um, this is, oh my God, this is like a courtyard out of like Game of Thrones or like Harry Potter or something. It's like, look how gorgeous it is. And in the center of the courtyard, they're growing like, all those are lime trees, like lime trees. It's insane. And there's loads on them. Can you see them? like all <laughs> all on there but like i'm not surprised it's it's perfect like environment for it okay so what i love about <laughs> look at this church still like, even the outside is like amazing look and look what's right outside the church crystal
Okay, so they did have like a five pound rail, which I did actually get some from it. It was this uh, ice cold jumper, which was really cool and it fits. So I'm like, do that. Um, but oh my God, they have, oh, they had some really good stuff, but everything was like overpriced, like 30 odd euro. It was like, oh, oh, this was probably one of my favorite shirts as well. Not this one, this one. It's like got bears on it. Look at that. I think it's a lady's shirt, but I don't care. It was so cool. This has to be the most gorgeous kind of like, it's like a shirt jacket, it's like a jacket, but oh my god, it was like, it wasn't alpaca, it was basically, um, it was made in Ecuador, and it's got like alpacas on it, and it's just gorgeous, it's totally off the now, it's totally, you know, on the button at the moment, and yeah, I just, I can't believe I left it, but it was like 65 euro, or was it 60 or 70 euro, I can't remember, but it was insane, and uh, yeah, so I went for <laughs> for lunch, and I couldn't get enough of these, this is on the Ribera market, and it's like uh, murals all the way down of like their seaport that they have, oh, it's absolutely incredible, What the, <laughs> I love a good, love a good mural. <laughs> Okay, so this is like the big, big food market in um, in Bilbao, and it's like where everyone kind of like goes for like dinner. Not everybody, but like it's it's in the percent. It's called La Ribera, La Ribera uh, Market, and it's on like the waterfront. And I just wanted to go around it just to show you like the scale of it. It's huge for like a little market. It's really huge, and um, yeah, look, the, the, these those are all apartments as well, and it's just it's so gorgeous, and it's quite a small city. Bilbao's got you can walk across it in like half an hour it's like it's not that hard it's a bit like Manchester it's like it's quite easy walkable okay so that's where I am and that's the gastro plaza so this is where you get all your pinchos uh, I'm going to walk through the food aisle and then nip through okay so I'm starting with some Iberian ham and some spicy tuna yum 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 Okay, so I've just got a coffee and two sweets because I'm a greedy fuck. Um, this is a custard tart and this is what's called a Carolina. It's like a meringue. It's the sweet of Basque, so. There it is, there's the best one. Okay, so I have to admit, the custard tart is delish. I'm not a big fan of custard tarts, but that is very nice. Carolina, I'm sorry to say, it's just a plain meringue with like a base, a pastry base. It's alright, it's just a bit empty because of the meringue, but it's very fancy and very nice. I am I'm, I'm happy with the custard tart and my little basket flag. So obviously after dinner I went shopping again and I went to the other uh, charity shop, the Cupera and yeah and again there was a sale on at this one I think on like shirts and certain like t-shirts there was like 40% off but uh yeah I did find some like really cool stuff there is obviously like certain brands it's a bit like over here you have to kind of flick through a lot whereas I know it's like in Belgium they've curated a lot of it and they've put a lot of good stuff out whereas like like here you've got a lot of Zara obviously it's a Spanish brand you've got a lot of um, like Primark stuff because they've got a big Primark here uh, and I did notice oh look I found a Garfield look there's a, there's the tag and the lady pulled it off when she liked you know took all the tags off I was like I was annoyed but yeah everything else was a bit kind of like iffy there was nothing cool <laughs> I want to find something cool <laughs> I think this is a second hand store. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, they had some pretty amazing Eurovision classics on, so I have to do a voiceover in my own music. Um, but yeah, I oh I found a BHS shirt. Can you believe it? British home stores in Bilbao. Um, yeah, it was basically kind of like just rubbishy kind of store brands and yeah, nothing nothing good. But I, I thought, oh, I might find something, something really good. No, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, I went to plenty of uh, shops and yeah, there wasn't much there, unfortunately. So it was getting towards tea time. So I thought I'll go to the 
the big plaza in uh, Bilbao and it's gorgeous, it really is. There's eateries and pubs and tavernas all the way around it and I've had some more pinchos. Look at these mini caramel ice creams. Delicious. Yeah, basically ask the guy, like, give us your favourite three. And he, they were all seafood related and they were gorgeous, absolutely delicious. And I, <laughs> I think one was like a salmon -y kind of like take, but there was another one that had like egg on it, like a hard boiled -y kind of like egg. And then this like, it was like a spicy curry sauce almost. It, it didn't taste like curry, but it kind of, that kind of spice. Maybe turmeric in it or something. But yeah, they were delicious, absolutely phenomenal. So today I went shopping and um, I went to the amazing food market. I couldn't film though because I filmed like a little bit, but they were all closing up at two o'clock because it's their like siesta thing and then they reopen at like half four, something like that. I have ha I've spent so much money on food, <laughs> which is amazing. I mean, what the pinchos, the tapas stuff, oh, unbelievable. Like... The food has just been immense. Like, it's been absolutely... I had this pastrami sandwich, which kind of tasted like... I don't know. It had, like, a turmeric kind of taste, but then it had, like, a spicy sweet honey. It was, like, it's the weirdest combination, and it was, like, amazing. I might go back to that tomorrow before I leave, because it was, like, so nice. Um, but, like, they're only, like, two to three euro per plate, and you get, like... Like a little like sandwich, like it, it, some of it is like a little sandwich, some of it is like a bruschetta with like I had um like a fish puree and it was like spicy kind of like fish. I did I asked like oh what like what is it gay as like you know and they were like mm, fish. <laughs> I was like oh okay. They didn't say what it was, although one of them did say cod. I didn't get that one. It was the other one. It didn't taste like tuna, but it tasted like obviously fishy. But oh my god, they were so nice. I think altogether I've had like six plates. Six plates all by myself. Plus two desserts. <laughs> okay, so I, I bought this and it did have a, the actual original tag on, but she took it off. I've just found it. Oh, silly moose. Anywho, yeah, it's a Garfield and Odie. I don't know what the year is, 2002. So it's 2002, it's relatively new, although it's, it's technically vintage. But it had a tag on. Check out, it's only a pound. But I think they call it Pouchet or whatever it is, or Pouchet. Um, oh, I got th this is cool. Because I just saw it and I thought, that's, look at that. It's like an adorable like, side bag. Like that, but it's not just any side bag. It's a Converse. Can you see that? It's Converse, and it's got like a shoe, <laughs> and it kind of like, kind of like is a shoe. Like that. It's got like laces. It's like a nice little like side bag, and another Desigual top. It was. It was ten euro. It was 10 euro and it was 40% off. Um, so it was six quid. And at uh, six euro, so it was about a fiver, which is a pain a bit too much, but it was a bit different. And the thing is with Desigual, it's a Spanish brand. And we do get it in the UK quite a lot and it does sell reasonably well, depending on the fit. I think hoodies do a lot better and jumpers do a lot better. Uh, I found a shirt, some really nice trousers. Ooh. I'll show you, and this top so far, but it's all 3D, it's all embossed, like you can feel it, it's quite nice. Um, and I got this from the Pink Flamingo, which is like, like their mass um, thrift store chains, which they do like, you know when they buy bulk from America and they divvy it up, it's kind of like that, and it's really expensive, but because it's uh, January, they were having like um, a sale day, well, not sale, they were having like sales. Also, and look at this, this is huge. But it says ice cold. Which is like, I know it's not me. <laughs> but I really like it. And I think that, is that an, meant to be like English? Or Swedish? Something? I don't know, but it says Pilla. Pila, P-I-L-A-R. Double XL. And it's, um, it's wool and 
50% wool and I think it's acrylic, wool and acrylic. Yeah, wool and acrylic. But um, it's a massive and warm and so I might, I might put it on. Yeah, I can wear it. It's wearable. It's wearable, but I, I think if I don't wear my shirt and a t-shirt underneath, and I lose like 40 pounds, I think it'll fit quite nicely. At a different Coupera shop, um, I bought, because there's two in the center and there's one on the outskirts. I didn't go to the one on the outskirts. Um, I got these deceit pants, like, they're like double layered, like faux so double layered. So, you've got it, these, like that, you see. So they've got like, like a double decker kind of like, what's it? I can't, I don't know if you can tell. No. Hang on. No. Alexa lights. <laughs> But yeah, they're check, they're like check coloured. And they're really nice. Um, these were 40% off. Um, they were 11 euros, like, I think four pound off. So they were, like, they were about, I think they're like six pound essentially, these ones, which are quite good. I'm trying to not, because like, obviously I've only got a budget for, I haven't, the difficult, the difficult thing is with the um, with my baggage uh, through because I've only got ten kilograms. I'll be fine because I've got a lot less than I did when I went to Belgium. But um, yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, I got an Yves Saint Laurent shirt. <laughs> that was uh, it was four seventy four and it ended up being th like three euro, so about two pound fifty, and it is genuine. Yeah, checked. It just it could do with a wash. <laughs> Smells nasty. <laughs> yeah, so it's Friday night. Um, bar downstairs is actually quite nice. I think I might go down and have a quick drink. I love go. I love people watching. I love sitting at in like a plaza watching the world go by. All good. <laughs> um, but hey, so yes, I. Uh, what a good time so far. Okay, so the drumming you can hear, it's all it's happening, happening all day all around the city. And it's for Ed... God, I've kind of pronounced it wrong. It's not what it's called now. Ed Chere? Ed. It's basically for the... Uh, celebrate the Basque Liberation Movement. And, uh, yeah. They're deemed by the Spanish government as kind of terrorist acts, uh, but these are for, there they are to go down there, they're to represent and to, what's the word I'm trying to look for, uh, there's lots of exiles, there's like 300 exiles, uh, usually in Venezuela or France, but um, yeah, they're, they don't, they're, wanted by, they're wanted by the Spanish government, uh, and this is their way of giving two fingers up to the government, the Basque country, original rebels. They didn't yield under Franco and they're not a big fan of the Spanish government. Okay, so this is an octopus salad. <laughs> I've just had some barbecue chicken. And this is uh, jamon and queso on a croissant. Yep, that was my time in Bilbao. And uh, yeah, I had to get the metro to the bus stop, the bus stop to the airport, and the airport to the aeroplane, which um, luckily... Um, I had the whole row to myself, which was amazing, because I had the whole row going back as well. And it was such an easy flight, it's only like about an hour. <laughs> so I'm back home, it's the day after, it's Sunday. I didn't get up to go to the car boot. 
because I'm so tired. <laughs> the delay, it wasn't that bad actually. It was only like half an hour delay, it didn't end up being over an hour. Um, the flight was really good though because like, I had a whole row to myself. Amazing. Um, yeah, that was my trip. <laughs> Not much thrifting. Lots of sightseeing. I think it was basically like a food trip. Anywho, where should I go next? That's the question, isn't it? You don't want me to go anywhere. No, he's like, take me. Look at this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know what to do. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>